Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at a smart thermostat, the Ecobee 3. So let's get started. And unboxing the thermostat, you get the thermostat, a remote sensor with a stand, a quick start guide, an installation guide, some label and logo stickers, a power extender cable, some screws, a back plate and a trim plate as well. Starting with the installation, it's easy and straightforward. You just need to connect a bunch of wires to the backplate per instructions. Setting up your thermostat is quick and easy as well. Just need to connect it, wait for it to load up, then enter some information like your Wi-Fi connection and name your thermostat. Then to start using it, just approach it and the screen will light up and ready to accept user input. From there, you could look at the current room temperature and adjust the temperature by moving the slider up and down, or you could just resume the pre-configured schedule. And by clicking on the cloud icon, you'll find out more about the weather forecast at your area. With the next option, you can also change the away mode, home mode, or sleep mode, so the thermostat can activate each mode according to a pre-configured settings. Now the Ecobee comes with a remote sensor which enables one great feature I love about it. So if you've got thermostat in room A and a remote sensor in room B, it can detect if someone is present in room B and adjust the temperature according to the barometer in that sensor. Or you could just let it take the averages of all sensors throughout your home. Ecobee can have more than one sensor and if you do, you can enable the follow me feature. So now Ecobee can track you wherever you are and adjust the temperature so you can always be comfortable. And that's wicked. And you can have up to 32 sensors if you're filthy rich. Now there are 4 ways to control your thermostat directly from the thermostat interface. Or you could use the Ecobee smartphone app or through a computer by navigating to the Ecobee web interface. All those interfaces look the same so there's virtually zero downtime getting used to another interface. And for the fourth way to control your thermostat, you can connect it to a third party interface like Apple HomeKit, Amazon Echo, Ift, smart things and probably much more and of course you'll need an active internet connection with wi-fi to control your thermostat remotely and if you have more than one ecobee thermostat like i do you'll be able to choose which thermostat to control from the app ecobee is smart enough to detect if someone is at home with a presence sensor built into the thermostat and the remote sensor if you're detected at home, it'll adjust the temperature according to your away and home configuration. This is one less thing to worry about if you forget to adjust the temperature when you leave home. Electricity bill is a big concern for everyone, and the AKB thermostat has many features that helps on saving money. I won't be able to mention all the features, so I'll leave a link down below. But there's one I'd like to mention here, which is the free cooling, which detects the temperature differences outside and inside your home, and it's smart enough to decide whether to use the air outside to cool or heat your home most efficiently. That's pretty genius. Aesthetically, the design looks gorgeous, and the display on the wall looks minimal and futuristic, but this is a personal taste. I've seen some reviewers who prefer the Nest thermostat in terms of usability, UI and design. So, this thermostat is packed with lots of features, a remote sensor, and you can add up to 32 remote sensors, an intuitive and user-friendly display. It works with Ift, Amazon Echo, Apple HomeKit, and Samsung Smart Things. You don't need batteries, it draws current from the C-wire or by using the power extension kit. It's got a lot of smart features, as previously mentioned. And finally, it's priced well comparing to its competitors like Nest and Honeywell Smart Wi-Fi. I've been using the Ecobee Smart Thermostat for over 6 months. It can get sluggish sometimes, but overall, it's an outstanding product. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.